Hey everyone, I'm going to be uh, reviewing the True Love dog harness today. The reason I'm doing this is because when I tried to look for um, videos on this specific harness, I didn't find much. I found about two videos, but even those two videos um, didn't really answer all my questions. And when I'm buying for my dog, I really want to know what I'm buying, especially if it's online. So I'm going to do this video to hopefully help out some people that are looking into this harness but are not sure. So yeah, and I would like to apologize in advance if I repeat myself or say anything um, that doesn't make sense. Uh, this is my first time recording a video, but I thought it was necessary and yeah, I'm a bit nervous. So, okay. So. Here's the True Love Dog Harness. I got it in the color black. They have various colors and their size ranges from an Equis small to an Equis large. I got the Equis large for my male eight-year-old golden retriever. They do have a sizing chart and I do recommend that you follow it because, you know, your golden retriever might not be the same size as mine and or your dog may not be the same size as mine even though they look similar. So my dog is uh, Equis Large, which is a 32 to 42 inch around um, behind the legs. That's how you measure them. And I recommend that you use a measuring tape like this. So, you know, you get a more accurate um, number. So my dog is about 35 inches behind the legs. And we ranged in the middle of this right here and I've already tried it on him and it fits really well it looks really cool and I'll be putting it on him later in the videos so I can you know show anyone who would like to see how to put it on so moving on to the harness you have the true love logo here which I like that it's really small because I don't like huge logos on my harnesses for my dog and then you have the d-ring here and one of my questions when i was looking into this was what material the d-ring was in pictures it looks like plastic and i did not want that but luckily it's a metal i'm not sure with my materials but it's like a hard metal it feels really really good quality and then it's stitched on with you know some sort of i believe nylon so this should hold your dog. And then I really like that it also had this handle, which is also also feels like a nylon. Um, really strong, I like this, it gives me more control when he sees a squirrel in the park. And in the front, it has a O-ring um, leash attachment, also sewn in and attached by the nylon and it's also metal and it has this little pocket for i believe to put um your dog's identification tag so it doesn't make noise so yeah and when looking for a harness i was really looking for one that had a, a ring in the back a handle and one in the front to give me you know options and a lot of people recommend this one for dogs who pool but my dog isn't a pooler, but when we do go to the park and he sees squirrels, he goes insane. He just turned into another dog. So I really, I'm really excited to try this on for the no pooling and, you know, this handle to give him more control. And yeah. And then moving on down here, we have the, the, the buckles. They are made of a thick, hard plastic. You just unbuckle it like that. I love how it's on top here so it doesn't get caught on your dog's hair. And then all of this um, this gray material right here is a reflective material. So if you like taking your dogs out on a walk at night or if it's dark, you know, it's uh, reflective throughout the whole harness here. Here, I believe this is reflective too, this outline. And uh, yeah, moving on inside. It is fully padded throughout the whole thing on top here and in the bottom. The bottom feels more padded than the top, but that would make sense. 
and then it has the dog's um, size and I believe this is so you can put your dog's name or their phone number probably phone number it has a phone there but yeah this harness costed about 26 28 dollars I believe the larger the harness is the more it is I believe mine might have been 20 I don't really remember but I got it off of Amazon and I will be leaving a review there because I really like it and I can't wait to try it on <clears throat> one review that I did like a few cons that I did read on there because I like to research as much was that if you have a smaller dog let's say like a, a toy wow really dogs <laughs> like a toy dog breed they people do say that it's a little bit too heavy for them like for smaller dog breeds but i mean for my golden retriever this is really lightweight i really like it but you know it's everyone's preference um another con that i read on there was that um, it is not true chew proof so if your dog likes chewing harnesses and destroys them he will most likely get through this one unless you know you supervise him but yeah it's not true true proof luckily my dog doesn't mind harnesses and my dog is right outside right now so let me go grab him so I can um, show you guys how to put it on for those of you who are wondering so let me go on and grab him all right so i have my bud with me this is betty he's an eight-year-old golden retriever and he's gonna be modeling his harness for you guys today um so it's very simple to put it on i really like that it's really simple you're gonna unbuckle the the buckles and the true love logo will be facing down towards his tail you're gonna see this opening it's a little difficult when I'm holding the camera. I'm going to put it in through his um, head. And if it doesn't fit around here, it is adjustable. And then you're going to see this hanging. All right, bud, I see you. And sorry for that interruption. I, I, my, my camera stopped recording. So, okay, where we left off, you're going to see this part hanging on his chest. It's okay, bud. And then... This will go under through his legs, and then it will buckle onto this side, and then the other side, same thing, go through under his, and then buckle right over here. Hold on, you're almost done. Hold on, bud. This is really hard. Okay. And there you go. This is how it looks on my golden retriever. I really like the look of it. Let me have him go back so I can show you a visual of the front. Go ahead, bud. Sit. Good boy. All right. And then this is the front right now. Right here. Looks really good on you. You look so handsome. Good boy. And yeah, I really like it. Um, another feature is people were saying that you in the car you could put the seatbelt through here. So, you know more safety and here's my regular nylon leash um forgot where i bought this from i want to say petsmart a long time ago you could put the leash here you can put it in the front let me see that like so and there we go that looks really good and I want to mention again, if you're looking to get this for your dog, um, please use the measuring guide, which is right. They have it on the Amazon um, listing. And yeah, so just make sure to do that because your golden retriever might not be as broad as mine. I have a my my bud here. He's a broader figure. He has a, you know, broader chest. He's just more big bone than other goldens i've seen some leaner ones but yeah this is a really good harness i really like it um soon i'll try to upload a video of him using it in the park in action but for now that's just 
a review on how to put it on and what it looks like and yeah can't wait I also wanted to mention one last thing um if your dog sheds crazy I would say like Labradors um hair will get stuck here so you know just keep up with the cleaning but I'll find a, occasionally a few hairs on it with Buddy's coat from Buddy's coat I'm sorry but yeah I hope it helps you guys um figure out if this is the harness for you and your dog or not and if you guys have any more questions please just you know comment down below and I'll try to um answer them for you uh thanks for watching and I'll put out a video of him using it in action in the park once the weather clears up a bit it's a bit wet now and I do not want to get him in the mud but he would love that but yeah thanks for watching everyone last thing this time for real um since Betty was really good I want you guys to see him receiving his treat because you were a good boy and you were a good model there you go and he got slobber all over me that's okay, huh? That's okay. All right. Good job, buddy. You did so well. And there he is. He he loves the camera. He's he's just sticking his tail. But there we go. You can go out and sunbathe now, bud. No, he's like, I want another one. Okay. Well, once again, for the third time probably, thanks for watching. And buddy, thanks you guys too. Um, see you later.